Hi, uh, in this video we'll see how to control uh, devices uh, through Wi-Fi in LabVIEW. So for this, uh, I've connected my LabVIEW with my Raspberry Pi. So I'm going to connect to my Raspberry Pi through a remote server. For that, I need my Raspberry Pi IP address. So, so this is my Raspberry Pi IP address. 92.168.0.109 I'm going to start my VNC server PNC so so it has started now I'm going to remotely log into my Pi So I <coughs> log into my Pi here. So I have some uh, electrical devices that is lights in another room. So here you can see the Raspberry Pi that is connected to the Arduino. And uh, this is a relay. And in another cam you can see that I have four light bulbs that I have connected to my uh, Arduino here. So this I'm um, going to control uh, through LabVIEW uh, through a Wi-Fi. So for this, uh, I need a, a Python server. Can so sudo python links.py sorry it's a typo mistake bind failed so I think <coughs> you have to be careful with this thing so <coughs> previously uh, the assigned IP address to my RPI was 108. Now it was changed to 109. Save. <clears throat> Again, I'm going to do the same. So here you can see that the socket has created and the Linux. This is waiting for the command from the lab view. So we can go <coughs> and open the lab view. So here uh, you have to create a TCP configuration <coughs> to connect with the Wi-Fi instead of serial port. And that's it. Show front panel. I've connected the devices uh, that light uh, to 8, 9, 10 and 11 pin of the Arduino on 92.168.0.109 the port is triple eight nine so you can see here <coughs> the Linux uh, Python server started to receive from the lab view continue clear start it again let's start it now can go on 
on and turn on some lights so this is uh, in this room I'm um, so you can see here there is no uh, connection from my laptop I'm uh, controlling the devices wirelessly so this is a proof for that and you can connect to the cam here and check whether the devices are turning on or off so I'm going to turn the first device on so you can see that the first lights has turned on so I'm going to turn it off now so uh, whatever I'm doing here is through Wi-Fi so I'm controlling um, Arduino uh, through Wi-Fi from LabVIEW you can see this is a LabVIEW front panel so the second light has turned on uh, <coughs> so this is the second light I'm going to turn it off now it's turned off and uh, the third one so the third one has turned on can turn this one also off and now the fourth one nope it's saying some problem with that light maybe a connectivity issue I have to check it so all the others are working well so I'm going to turn this one on it's turned on fourth one So this is not turned on. I'm going to the another room to check uh, the status of that light. So I'll be come back once I rectify that one. The reason the light was not turned on was that this holder, light holder was a faulty one so the problem with the holder, the other devices are uh, looking good. Um, so yeah, for this if you want some more tutorial about this you can go Uh, you can check this link uh, that is the uh, labview hacker uh, this was a old website of uh, Linux devices so you can go to this one and check uh, the detailed description of how to connect the device through Raspberry Pi and control from labview Wi-Fi so here you have the detailed uh, explanation from Sam this will be very useful um, if you want to use the device uh, through Wi-Fi uh, 